Hi everyone, so I am your host Tithi and today I am going to give you a theoretical tutorial on Metasploit. Having the detailed concept of Metasploit will help you to give a better understanding of how things work because if you understand something you can get to use it much more better than just following some steps. And if you want the practical tutorial, it is given on the channel Trendytect. Don't forget to check it out. <laughs> So, what is Metasploit Framework? Well, it is a framework for exploits. It is generally an environment for anyone to develop code easily. It contains a lot of exploits to launch and also it allows you to build a real working exploit for your own purposes. It is also a cross-platform framework written in Ruby language. Well, it is one of the most powerful tools for pen testing and there are many more things to explain here but I would going to explain you about the most basic things you definitely need to understand and make sure to take it as just educational purpose. So basically whenever you will open your MSF console, uh, you will see that this screen will splash over your terminal uh, where you will find this type of thing written uh, which are call modules that we generally ignore to know about because half of we are interested to know more about how to make a payload and exploit it with just a step-by-step -step tutorial but to utilize metasploit in a more better way we must know about the seven types of modules that i am going to discuss today well, so before jumping into the modules part, let me make you all familiar with the Metasploit architecture. This is the total architecture of the Metasploit framework showing how everything is connected with each other. So I have given some short info about all of them here. You can just pause and uh, check it out. And if you want the PPT, just join my telegram group. I will give you out. Uh, so as you can see that like Rex is a library that is a collection of classes and module that may be useful to more than one project. And if you want to know more about it, uh, just uh, ping me on telegram and we'll give the Metasploit developer guidebook. It contains the total guide of Metasploit. And second one comes um, uh, framework code. So it is nothing more than a way of connecting the different critical subsystems of the framework code such as module and session management. Then there is a framework base uh, which is a library layer built on top of the uh, framework code that adds classes that make dealing with the framework more easier. And there comes the interface uh, which is generally the framework UI and these are the few of the interfaces among which MSF console and Armitage are very famous. So Armitage is GUI based uh, which allows you to monitor everything on your victim screen remotely from your desktop. Although the framework is a huge tool that do wonders and need good understanding but definitely not something to compromise NASA. So keep that in your mind. So now let's jump to our main topic that is modules. If you are quite familiar with Metasploit then almost all of your interaction with Metasploit will be through its many module which it looks for in two locations. The first one is the primary module that you will generally come across. It is being stored under user share directory and the second one is where you will store custom modules the ones you may create in ruby language it is under home directory at msf4 subdirectory okay so the first module we come across is the auxiliary well this module does not gives you a shell but it is very valuable while conducting a penetration testing because this module helps you solve the problem of trying to use exploit modules in situations where they should not be used for example, denial of service bugs are poor candidates for exploits because they do not require the use of a payload and may not have targets. Even bugs that lead to read remote files or perform other sort of actions that also do not require a payload are also a poor fit for exploits. To solve this problem, the concept of auxiliary module was introduced. Next comes encoder. Well, we just cannot send any payload of Metasploit without encoding it because the antivirus will decode it. So here comes the work of encoders. The encoder takes the raw form of the payload and run it with some encoding algorithm like bitwise ZOR and after that the decoded version is prefixed to the encoded version of the payload. Well, generally since 2015 we use MSF Venom for making payload which is a combination of msf payload and msf encode next comes evasion which is very new module we often find antivirus detect our msf venom payload 
So for getting over this problem, we can use evasion module, which can bypass many famous antivirus software and Windows Defender by generating evasive payloads without installing external tools. Then comes exploits module. This is the module that uses payload to perform the execution of a sequence of commands that target a specific vulnerability found in a system to provide the attacker with access to the system. But Exploit Pro version even has automated exploits. Now comes payload module that you might be familiar with and this payload module is further subdivided into singles, uh, stages and stages. These different types give great versatility. Payloads can be either common strings or raw instructions, but in the end, they boil down into code that will be executed on the target machine. For example, you all may have worked with BuyNTCP. It attempts to establish a connection to a target machine on a given port. Single stages and stages has more to be explained that you can read from books. Now let's go into knobs module. In assembly language, it means no operation. Well, knob generator are just used to create a string instructions that have no real effect other than just alternating the state of registers. And the last one is post module. Well, after working so hard to successfully exploit the system, what we will do with that? Well, obviously we will try to gain further access to the target's internal networks and gather more info about it and also try to set up a backdoor to maintain more permanent system access and that's where the post module of Metasploits come into action. So I guess now all of you have understand that how advanced this tool is and you really need a deep understanding to use it properly to exploit a system. And if you want to uh, see the practical video, I will be posting it on Trendy Tech channel and if you want to gather more deep knowledge then join my telegram group I will provide you with some good Metasploit related book. Thank you.